E Asia lands in Chiang Mai. This historical northern town packs a punch with its knockout culinary scene. So come with me as I explore the city's most adored dish, khao soy. In the markets, in the kitchen, and in my tummy. Mm. Be ready for all kinds of delicious up ahead. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bon appetit. Yes. Keep eating. <laughs> On the last episode of Eat Asia, we discovered what makes Bangkok's culinary scene so unique. But today we are in Thailand's north, in Chiang Mai, and we're going to do exactly the same here, but we're going to look at the local ingredients and the local taste to see what Chiang Mai really tastes like. I'm going to do that through one dish, which is khao soy, which I'll tell you a little bit more about later. But what better place to start to learn about the culinary excitement here than the fresh market? Chiang Mai is the culturally rich cousin of Bangkok, 700 kilometers away. Founded in 1296, its food is just as famous as its history. And its most famous dish is khao soy. Now this is fresh egg noodles doused in coconut milk curry soup and topped with crispy noodles, shallots, pickled bok choy and lime. Now it's hearty, sweet, savory and full of texture. And I dare you to try it and not love it. To explore this dish, I was joined by Angela, a foodie living in Chiang Mai. And she bought Chef Amara from Dara Devi, Chiang Mai's most exclusive hotel. Now Chef took me where she shops, which is Tanin Market for local insight into khao soy. First Chef took me to the vegetable section, where she explained to me what makes Northern Thai food different. Obviously Northern Thailand is more famous for its spicy. Like, they like spicy here, they like chili. Yeah, of course. And also we, we eat a lot of like um, meat, pork, chicken. That's why we have to find a lot of dry spices or for like um, vegetable to make it like balance with the meat. To start off our khao soy ingredients, this dish is always served with pickle bok choy and sweet shallots. Next, of course, you need fresh chilies to add to the curry paste to give the heat and extra flavor. Okay. We call them um, Bird eye chili, jalapeno chili, and big red chili, dialect name. Okay, so bird's eye. Bird eye, jalapeno, yeah. and a big red. Big red, yeah, I like it. Yeah, so. so, for your majority of your cooking, and be honest, which yep. chili do you use? This. Of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Thai, I'm not a people, yeah, so exactly. we like spicy. Yeah. And the thing is, and I have to tell you guys, the produce here is so fresh yes. and so vibrant, the colors, the smells when you come in here. Because yeah. I think a lot of people, they do. Um, maybe they have an idea of a fresh market that it uh -huh. smells weird. Of course there's different things maybe you might not recognise, but actually it smells delicious and it's really interesting and it's really exciting to be here. Schiff explained that buying local traditional ingredients is a major part of cooking here. And of course, the secret to the best flavour. An important part of khao soy is the fresh egg noodles which are used both boiled and deep fried for a crispy topping. Alright, see the noodle. Yeah, for Thai we have like three kinds of the noodle. First one we call them rice noodle. Yeah, this one is from the rice flour that we use for pad thai. We use them for like a noodle soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for this one. And the second one, um, we call them egg noodle. That we making khao soy. Yeah. yeah, from this. It's made from um, yolk egg and wheat flour. That tastes something like a pasta or spaghetti. Yeah, it's a yeah, lot something like, like that. Pasta. Yeah. Now onto the meat. Traditionally, khao soy is made with chicken or beef, but chef says you can get creative with your ingredients. Now, can you do khao soy with pork if you wanted to? Uh, khao soy, you can do with anything. Pork, chicken, beef, right? But the base part of pork meat, you need a bit tender, mm -hmm. the neck. Ah. Yeah, because it's like a little fat in there mm -hmm. as well. And also for the chicken, if you use it, you can use like a chicken side right. on the leg. Yeah, so that is nicer okay. because the blade is a bit tough. Now we have our basic ingredients, it's time to get up close and personal with the base of this dish, the curry paste. To learn more, I met with the executive chef from Dinaga Hotel, who took me to Wararat Market. It's important for the Thai Thai curry. A sneaky tip that chef explained to me is that there's actually high quality curry paste that you can buy for those who don't have the time, but still want the level of flavour. Okay, so this is where you can buy it pre-made. And as always, the ubiquitous Thai seasoning, fish sauce. Would you say that the fish sauce is the most important ingredient yeah. in Thai cooking? Yeah. You would say, okay, you got that here first. 
When I was at the market, I met cooking school students who were also super excited about Thai cuisine and had already been charmed by khao soy. And what did you think? It's Lovely. really nice. Right? What, what, what was the, why did you like it? It was spicy, but it was creamy and the noodles. It's just really Both having crunch and soft. Crunch and soft. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's, I think, again, that's the thing about Thai food is that it's that combination, right? Yeah. So you've like the beautiful soft noodles and then the crunch at the end and things like that. Fabulous. All right, well, you guys enjoy your cooking class. Thank Welcome you. to Thailand and thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Learning about a new place can't be more interesting than going to its fresh markets. The people of Chiang Mai are so warm and relaxed and after seeing two fantastic markets with passionate local chefs, I know that the emphasis for khao soy is on fresh ingredients cooked simply. But just how to combine everything to make this incredible dish? Tell you what, I'm excited to find out. So now we've come to the end of part one. And I spent an amazing day in the market and I learned that in Chiang Mai they like things spicy but balanced. And there's a real emphasis on vegetables and meat because it's inland. So now I'm going to get my hands dirty in the next part and learn how to cook khao soy northern style with two amazing northern chefs. Now I have my ingredients so next up I get crafty in the kitchen to learn how to cook khao soy. Yeah, the chilli to your own taste. So if you love chilli, okay great. Looking for a weekend break? Point your web browser to go2destinations.com and check out the latest three days Hmong soft adventure tour. Availability is limited and this unique opportunity is not one to be missed. Check out more exclusive iTravel content by clicking on the video tiles and don't forget to subscribe. You can also stay up to date with all things iTravel by following us on Twitter and liking our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.